do like to start off my videos but i whatever anyway what's up y'all what's up family it's your girl javana from vivacious beauties but today i'm only one beauty because the other beauty is not here now as you are watching i am in the boathouse okay i am putting tape around the edges of the wall because i am doing a painting my boathouse video I already painted it, but you know, this is the intro. I want y'all to know what you're what you're watching. And this was actually a family project. I just decided not to put my parents in there just because I don't, I don't, I don't want the world to know who my parents are. You feel me? I just don't. But um, it was exhausting. It really was. I was tired, but I love anything that has to do with being creative artsy um putting stuff together i'm going to enjoy it but the hard part about everything was i had to really get down low and get into the corners and the edges that my parents couldn't so um that was the hardest thing for me i know i'm young but i got knees like i'm old just from running track and you know standing up like being so short and stuff working in the dental field i always feel like i have to stand up during all procedures and that takes a toll on your back that takes a toll on your feet that takes a toll on your knees so trying to bend down and get into these little crevices and corners and stuff it's just it was a bit much but um yeah i think i think i probably will not paint another room for a long time because honestly the prep work is what's exhausting the prep work is what's tiring because if you don't put the tape on properly you're going to get a lot of um paint pieces or um spots because it's seeped through when you decide when you go in and put your primer or whatever y'all do and it just it's gonna be a mess and that's really what i was struggling with was getting the tape in the crevices of some of the walls and then you got to deal with the spiders you got to deal with insects i have never seen before because being in mississippi versus colorado the bugs is just something different like i have never in my life seen a blue fly but they have blue flies out here their mosquitoes are big their cockroaches are humongous it's just a whole different world so um all of those little itty bitty bugs and stuff that were underneath the tables and in the corners of the walls and stuff was disgusting so i definitely had to throw on like one of my surgical caps as you see like because i didn't want to get all that stuff in my hair and i had braids so i just didn't i didn't want to be picking out spider webs and lord knows what else was in there so that is really the point of this intro was just to tell you enjoy enjoy me struggling i'll be back keep watching
want it to be known if it was up to me and it was my house that I paid for, <laughs> um, I probably would have went with all bright colors. That whole place would have been super duper bright. It would have been a variety of colors like um, green. I love green. I love yellow. I would have probably had some purple in there. Uh, I would have probably had some nice like coral colors, not necessarily red or anything, but like that pretty-ish peach pink color. I don't even know what I'm trying to describe. But just colors of that nature because it's girly and it's pretty and it's just vibrant and I'm a vibrant human being and I just love vibrant stuff. I don't know why I keep saying that, but yeah. And then, um, like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to make something fancy looking that's meant to be a man cave in a way. You know what I mean? Like, my dad spends most of his time down there or out there. Uh, cutting the fish up, <laughs> cutting the fish up, fishing, you know, doing whatever. So I I can understand why there were certain colors that we avoided, but I, I definitely would have had that place like shining bright like a diamond. So I like the colors that we went with, the blue, the orange, the yellow. I probably, I don't know, like we really, we had a whole little book, um, trying to distinguish what which colors and stuff that we wanted and we went with the colors obviously that you see but it's harder than you think because i mean all the colors like on the app and stuff don't match the actual color you're gonna get it's always a tint off or whatever so we picked out all these colors and then when we went to go get them and actually get like the cards for them in the actual store it was like this is completely off and i don't know we went with what we went with. It looks wonderful. It's super clean. It looks like, I don't know. I just, this was the struggle, but I enjoyed every bit of it. So keep watching. I don't know why I did that awkward smile. Just, just, just keep watching.
So this is the next project, okay? I honestly love the white, but the paste accidentally gave us the wrong shade. Let me see if I can turn this up. Yeah, looks fine the way it was. But they gave us the wrong shade, so I'm deciding to paint this in another table, which will be this table with, where is that blue? It's like a dark blue. Let me see if I can open it, hold on. I don't know if y'all could really see that color that well. But yeah, that'll be going on that table. Oh, honey child. <laughs> Need some lotion on these hands. Ain't no way. We'll also be putting some acrylic or something on top of this too. Ooh, I forgot. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down below. Click that subscribe button, hit the bell, so that way you're notified every time Renee and I post. Um, to get to know us, make sure you go watch all our other videos, get familiar with the channel. And I also wanna uh, make sure I say this again, this channel is a variety channel, so we do all types of things. So we will do crafts, some days we'll do cooking, we'll have podcasts, it just depends on our mood. We'll talk about um current events it, it just depends so make sure you tune in um and join the family as always thank you for watching and keep watching i don't know why i said that like i want like this is the end it's not the end just keep just you know what to do
Um, so the paint splatter at the end was just, I don't know why I always look off to the distance. I just feel real awkward sometimes getting on the camera and just talking. So I have to look and then come right back. I don't know. But anyway, um, the splatter was just like a random thought in my mind because I was like, I like the green, but this needs some type of color. It needs some pizzazz. It needs a little sprinkle of spice. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know why i have those mindsets but like y'all have seen my room y'all have seen several things that i've done i just like to be all over the place but in a good way like i just i like things to be spontaneous creative so i was just like oh let's just do a paint splatter or something and then i just did it <laughs> that's really all that like that's it i was just like let me do it my dad said okay bet he went and bought me a spray bottle that was strong as heck i honestly would have probably gotten like a little cheap one that's a little bit smaller nozzle or something so it doesn't spray as hard i don't know why i needed to show y'all how to spray but i just you know it, it came out very nice but it didn't come out exactly how i wanted it and that's cool but all y'all know y'all gotta mix like water i already explained all this but yeah it came out jazzy so All right, so today you ain't gonna catch me slipping with the ass, you feel me? <laughs> but <laughs> this, is, this is funny, okay? Like, I, w I don't know. It's like, it's cool, but I also like don't like it at the same time. More so because the splatter wasn't going the way I wanted it to, just because I had to use this instead of like using the paintbrush and stuff. I could have used the paintbrush, but I decided to try this, and I don't think it came out the best. You feel me? Like, I, I think it's decent, and more so, too, because you can't just, like, anybody that knows anything about paint, you can't just, like, splatter paint. It has to be, and if you do, it has to kind of have some water. I'd be diluted a little bit, because otherwise, it's just going to be thick and come out real thick, which is why this, I don't know if you can tell, but let me see. I don't know if y'all can see that in there, but I'm gonna probably add some white to that or maybe not. But just like there's some spots in this and stuff from the water yesterday when I tried to get the paper towel and kind of dab it out just because I didn't like it. It's not what I was expecting it to be. It's okay, you feel me, but it is different. I should have just left it like this other bench or this other table, I mean, but you know, Giovanna always got to throw a little extra creativity in here. Now, I will say this, we are going to be painting um, this right here, just because who wants all of this? Nobody wants all of that. It's not bad, but we will be painting it. I don't know how soon we will be paint painting it. I can't talk, but we will be painting it and making it look real nice. Probably a grayish color. I'm not sure, but then we're going to get some little d uh, decor stuff in here. I don't know yet what we're going to get, but we're going to jazz it up, try to make it look nice. And yeah. All right, y'all. So, oh, there we go. That's perfect. Y'all can see. So this right here, this type of wood was just not taking the paint very well. And sometimes wood does that. And I felt like I had went over this so many times. So I decided to let it dry. And then um, I am going to repaint it a little bit just because who wants this to look like this? Now, the top doesn't matter to me that much just because we're gonna be covering it up anyway because it's where we cut our fish, when we catch our fish and weigh our fish and all that stuff. So that's, you know, it is what it is. It's gonna be covered with that, so. But yeah, I just wanna get all these little corners here real quick. Now, my dad has come in here. I did help him a little bit yesterday get some of the stuff up, but he did clean it up quite nicely. You know, it looks back to normal. We had to put everything back up. And then my table, as I just uh, showed y'all, 
It's a mess, but I'm gonna add some more yellow to it real quick and see how it turns out. Come over here and show y'all my fish. You gotta clean this fish tank and all of that. Now, I will get a poster back here just because, you know, it makes it look a little bit better. And I put all these in here, they're always hiding. So I decided to put these um, little plants in here, fake plants. And then I got this tapestry. I freaking love this tapestry, y'all. I don't even know if y'all can see the colors well, but I just love this. This is so nice. And then I got a couple of pictures just all around the boathouse that I took, personal pictures here. Um, so, that's personally everything so far. That's how it's looking. So if I'm remembering right, we started on like a Friday after I got off of work and then we painted Saturday, Sunday, obviously didn't paint um, throughout the weekday or I think we painted a little bit um, here and there, just some touch up areas. And then that following week we completed everything. So about five days, give or take, um, to do everything in the boathouse and it turned out nice. So. Alright, so now this is the actual end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I say um so freaking much. I try. I try. It just comes out. But if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share it. Make sure you comment down below. And what else is there to do? Turn on the notifications, like I said in the beginning and um 
watch all our other videos as well. Now I know this wasn't like one of those videos where it's like, ooh, she's gonna try on all these cute clothes or ooh, she's gonna cook something that you've never heard of, woohoo. It, it's one of those crafty videos that it's like, if you only, you are literally probably only watching this because you like Renee and I. Cause other than that, like it's kinda, it's just a family project I decided to record. That's really what it was. And I wanna say shout outs to my parents for even allowing me to come up with the idea to paint it just because some parents could have said no you know what i mean but they went out of their way to pay for the paint i didn't have to pay for anything so they went out of their way to pay for all of that and then they actually helped you know what i mean they helped put it all together get it looking good and then my dad cleaned everything so the boathouse looked amazing and i don't know it's stuff like like youtube has really made me doing the crafts with my parents and stuff so much more fun because i get to like memorize it in my head or remember it is what i'm trying to say but then i also have an opportunity to look at it again and and have it on video for my memories and that's just that's what's cool and i've talked about that before but anyway this is it subscribe see y'all in the next video thanks for watching my bad bye